Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidokai and in this video I explain the voice stacking, the voice stacking modulator, voice spread and unison. I'll be happy if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So what is voice stacking? Simply said, layering several voices over each other. That's it. Bam. Done. Quickest tutorial ever. But there are some more features and possibilities. So let's explore it. The most known voice stacking could be the unison feature. What is unison? It's voice stacking with a commonly added detuning. Let's take a polysynth, for example, and the unison feature. This is just having several voices at the same time layered over each other, but each voice is slightly detuned by this knob over here. So it creates a sound that floats like a lot of uh, instruments playing at the same time with a slightly different pitch. So let's deactivate the, the detuning. This is often used to emulate a string orchestra or just a simple string instrument like a cello or a violin. example. Um, such a unison feature can be found in several other synths like for example the Search XT synthesizer with the unison feature over here and the detuning. Like this, or for example, the Hive synthesizer from Yu He. You got here the number of voices. You could extend that, for example, to 16 if you like to. And then to detune everything. For example, so the way of layering sounds is uh, grouping them in one or the other way. In um, Bitwig, you can use, for example, the group feature. If you deactivate this over here, you can um, mark the synth and hitting Control and G. This is bringing up an instrument layer device and putting the polysynth into this layering device. And if you then duplicate it, or pressing Ctrl D, for example, then you have different devices. So, but let's take the polysynth out of here because in Bitwig there's a smarter way. So, and um, if you click on the polysynth, you see in the inspector on, on the left side, you see um, over here in the top corner, voices and voice stacking. And voice stacking is by default off. And if you click over here and uh, move the mouse up or down, you can increase or decrease the voice stackings. And um, all it's doing is um, creating several instances of your synth. So right now I have five instances of my polysynth and if I don't, wouldn't have this uh, unison f feature over here, I could use the voice stack spread over here, click on it and for example modulate the pitch over here. 
just a little bit. So now I have, if I... Uh, maybe put that down here a little bit. For example, what the voice tagging is doing is um, the sound gets louder because I have five instances of the, the polysynth playing the same time. So it's normal that it gets louder if you put um, several instances of the same sound um, or layering the, the, the same sound over each other. So it's just adding up in frequencies or in amplitude. Not in frequencies, just in amplitude. So um, if you use the voice stacking, you see over here with active voices, if you increase it, the active voice increases as, as well. So you could have 60 voices and standard in the polysynth are 12 voices. So um, maybe you want to increase the voices over here as well. So um, it adds up for every instance, it adds up, it adds up these voices. But in a lot of cases, you're using uh, such a voice stacking uh, mode, especially on something like a polysynth, where you emulate something like an orchestra, like strings, uh, like big instruments and, and such. You're using normally a lot of um, notes. So be also be aware, or be also yeah, be aware that you have enough voices over here. And another thing is the steel same key option over here. So still same uh, key option is when you um, play in a, uh, a chord and then you play another chord that reuses one or two of your notes. So um, still same key means it stops the note from before and starts new. So you have no release time on this chord. If you have a long release time on this chord, um, it steals, it, it ends this uh, note and starts a new note, and the last note has um, no release time anymore. So be aware of it if you want to have very smooth transitions from one chord to the another. Um, just have still same key in mind that you may switch it off. So if you leave it on, you save CPU time because notes are ended and then they don't use CPU time. But if you need a lot of smooth transitions, just um, switch it off. So um, in the inspector as well, you see all the, the, the voice uh, spreading um, options, the voice stack spreading option. And uh, you can use that with several uh, instruments. For, for example, the organ, I used it already with a voice tracking on the pitch. If I deactivate that, the organ sounds like this. If I want to have a, a unison feature, for example, this is far too much. Using a little bit of um, the vibrato. For example, and the same goes with the grand piano. I think I used it as as well. So if you have the grand piano, Without voice stacking, with voice stacking, it's much louder. And if I want to use a detuned um, piano, for example, I use this detuned feature as well. Again, slightly detuned, not so much. example so and um, there's not only the the detuning or the voice spreading like uh, this over here you also have a voice stacking modulator so if you open the modulator section and open the pop-up browser for the modulators and type in voice you get the voice stack modulator and if you open the voice stack modulator, you have different modes. 
And on the help screen, it says additional stack spread modes, individual voice mapping. And that's mainly the functions they have. They, are, they have different mappings, like from zero to one is like a, a unipolar setting from zero uh, uh, minus one to plus one is like a bipolar setting and you can see over here on the right side the description from zero to one is from zero to one hundred percent so it's just from um numbers to percentage okay then um you could modulate every single instance differently so you have a standard a standard spread over here from zero to one like it said over here or from minus one to plus one and you see the steps in between underneath so you could for example use that to uh, the first um, voice to make the sound a little bit dull and a little bit more resonance <laughs> instead of or the second one for example or you could just use <clears throat> the general settings like this modulator and create something like this for example so you have the normal spread hard to hear for example so and then there is um, the value that's the same or similar like um, the other uh, the other modes like uh, zero to one and minus one to plus one uh, just a simple value mode and there is like uh, zero times one times two times three times I don't know if this is any something to say it's just like a value zero times one times two times but this is not like um, multiplying or something I don't know maybe you know it then please leave a comment in the comment section i would be happy to hear about what this is all about but the most interesting part is the manual part so you still have like um uh, using the different instances with different um, parameters but you have uh, you could um use these sliders to um, change the values uh, in a flexible way. So if I just use the um, general modulator over here and maybe just use the mix button, for example. Now I have this one. Or maybe just use the pitch. This would be better, I think. For example, and this you could modulate, for example, as well with an LFO. So you could modulate each of those like completely crazy. <laughs> for example, like that with different modulators. So uh, <laughs> this is this is all about a voice stacking and a voice stacking a modulator, um, where you can um, fine tune every of those instances of those layered instruments. And at the end, this is simply like uh, layering several instruments over each other and then changing some parameters to make them 
um, some more movements and sound. So um, thanks for watching. If you have uh, any questions uh, or comments about this topic or any other topic, please leave a comment. If you find the video helpful, share it with your friends. It might be helpful to them as well. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Stay healthy, take care, see you then. Ciao, ciao.